Hello ladies and gents and how's it going your buddy Sarge here bringing you a talk of 2015 a year end review and it's not necessarily going to be about my channel it's going to be about Team Fortress 2 because Team Fortress 2 has taken a big turn this year with gunmetal and all its weapon changes as well as tough break and all its weapon changes tier listings for crates, new weapons, new skins, contracts it's just a huge step towards the future of matchmaking that is going to be present in 2016 unless it keeps getting moved over and over which it has been but that's hopefully not going to happen and I'm not going to quote myself directly because that would defeat the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is to quote something that Reddit seems to approve of. And I honestly agree with it as well. For the most part, there's some things here and there that are iffy and I could disagree otherwise. But let's carry on with this. There's a Reddit post made by Moy the Creeper called Well, Goodbye 2015. My love speech for this community and this game. Now, it is a post about everything that's happened in Team Fortress 2, how the communities reacted to it, and everything that could possibly happen in the future, in his opinion. Now, let's go ahead and read that post because I'm actually really excited for this. So, let's get this started. Do you remember how this year started? I sure do. It was all of the sudden when the most hyped update of all time came in. We received End of the Line. I was so happy when this update came up, that I screamed in enthusiasm. I think we all did. Then we read the update notes. Oh the horror, oh the disappointment, oh the hype train crash wrecked, it was awful. The update was literally nothing. Hats? Yeah, no. Map that was promised? <laughs> Too confusing mates. New weapons? I know you love reskins man, reskins are pretty cool. And that was that, a shitty hat update. I didn't even enjoy the SVM movie because of the disappointment. Well, I thought, at least we have a good movie. The time passed and a huge wave of hate came in. Remember? The TF2 is dead and Volvo doesn't care anymore and this game is dying. Those comments? Those comments hurt me inside. I love this game. I've been playing for two years now and I've had lots of fun. And now the community I respected and loved started to separate like a civil war. The ones that claimed that TF2 is still great, and the ones that were blinded by the disappointment. It sure was a dark age in the community. The TF2 vids, filled with hate comments, it was all so depressing. I feel like every single TF2 YouTuber felt their feelings for the game changed dramatically. And then, to make things worse, a new game was announced. One that promised to change all of what we knew about FPS gaming. Overwatch. It would have gone by as another first person shooter that tries to change game style. Just like Titanfall, just like Destiny, just like, well, every single shooter says these days. But it had something that made it important to us. It was compared to TF2. Why? Because people who liked TF2 and were disappointed needed another game. One that felt like TF2. And Overwatch offered them all of that. And what was worse is that Blizzard even wanted the Team Fortress 2 community to focus on Overwatch. That's just worse than the situation. Now everyone claimed that Overwatch was going to destroy TF2. It was confirmed TF2 was going to be replaced. It was one of the saddest moments in my life knowing that people started to turn their backs at a game that I loved so very much. Time passed, the hate train was wrecking the entire place. It was pretty boring and depressing to play. That was when it happened. The moment it came. The moment when everything we knew changed. The moment so fantastic, so amazing, so epic, so needed. The moment for a big update to come. Gunmetal. It came un unexpected. It was huge. It was full of things, but people focused more on the negative as usual. Or as I like to say, they focused on things that they said were negative. Thus the skins were introduced. It didn't matter how full of changes the update was, it didn't matter if there were 4 new maps, it didn't matter if they introduced contracts, TF2 is dying and they are desperate to call the attention. Oh so now we have skins? Lame Valve, TF go, TF go, everybody, TF go, of course. It spawned tons of jokes, the update was another civil war. It took time for the community to understand that this update was so groundbreaking, so well done, but in the end. We understood that it was worth the wait. Finally, the TF2 community was calm. Finally we understand that Valve does care about us. 
we understood that TF2 is here to stay for long. And thus the time passed. Another strike from the hate train. Overwatch went closed beta. The game was praised as a creation of gods. It seemed flawless, at least. The people who played the beta said it was flawless. I swear no one ever pointed out that the game was not perfect. Of course, this could be Blizzard paying people to make a review about the game. Hey, but that is just a theory. This event made German Star quit the game, or at least quit making videos about it. And then all the TFT YouTubers felt like it was an obligation to talk about the game and try to at least once make it interesting. And the hate just kept on coming in. Another sad time for the community. Then an update was leaked. It was an alien update. The community hype and the conspiracy theories came in. It was the invasion update. It came in to make sure we got the message that TF2 was still an updated game. It came with everything we liked. Cool maps, a new campaign, there were cool skins too, not some lousy melee weaponing reskins. A sad moment when the best, most memorable team of TF2 all time separated, Froyotech. The titans collapsed when the team lost interest in the game, surely a sad moment, but we were lucky that some of the players participated in the fantastic community, Banny for example. One of the most important moments occurred when TF2 was included in the DreamHack tournament. It sent the message that TF2 is a competitive game and not just a casual hat simulator that everyone says it is. The tournament came with thrilling moments and fantastic plays. It was a happy time. It was uplifting to see people go, wow, what a great player. That was so clutch. If you don't know what clutch means, it means just to handle the entire situation by yourself, alone, and you're the last person standing. In the Riot community, sure, it was happy. And now, we had the tough, tough, tough break update. A fantastic update filled with content. It would have been perfect if it wasn't for the upsetting changes that were made to Pyro, but it still filled us with joy that when we understood that we had another groundbreaking update filled with content. And what do we have for the future? Matchmaking. With all the news, all the hype, all the hopes and dreams we have for this update to come, and shut the mouth of those who still claim TF2 is just a lousy, casual, non-competitive game, matchmaking will be great. It will be a great addition to Team Fortress 2. And so my friends, ends 2015. I may have excluded some news like the gameplay changing manpower, the fun and exciting pastime, and the awesome Halloween update, but I am a forgetful person. But the thing is, that this game, this community, these developers, all of you are great. All of you are fabulous, charismatic, hardworking, and fun people. TF2 is a great game that will kick ass for a long time. A great game, a great community, a great development team, and a great year. Happy New Year, everyone. Hope you had a fun and enjoyable New Year, and hope you all will have a great year. Thank you. Goodbye.